unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Alright, can I talk to you first, sir? You seem to be the one who actually takes things seriously. Hey. Hello, guys, and welcome back to some more The Outer World. We are on our way to actually do missions now. We have explored... A lot. I don't think I've explored everything I can explore, but at least I've explored a lot of this stuff. And now most of the way back and forth should be clear. I don't need to fast travel because I also run pretty fast now. So that's always something. I'm just saying if we did need to dispose of a body, this would be a good spot for it. I don't got much use for sulfur in my own work. Neat that it's here, though. Uh, very neat, very neat. Missed you. Okay, now let us see what it is that this place has to offer. And probably a lot of fighting is gonna... Or not. Okay. People outside with bandits, but it doesn't seem like these well, people hello, are. hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclast. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. A pamphlet? In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Who are the iconoclasts? Because I, I saw bodies, but I didn't know what they were part of. Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. No problems? What about reptidons or marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. We that do hurdle is not problems, huh? You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. I'm just looking for work. Do you have any boss or leader or something? Oh, sure. Graham's our founder. He taught us how to cut our own path in the wilderness. And... I guess some folk have started following Zora's orders. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. All right, then tell me about Graham. Why, he's our founder. Graham taught us about philosophism. Through him, we came to the eternal truth. I'm glad you're asking, by the way. I hope you'll consider staying. Uh, no, thank you. Tell me about Sora. She, well... She's been with us since the beginning. I think she was our sawbones back then, but now she's more like our commander. She goes and finds people in the wilderness and gets them to come here. And she keeps us from being chewed on and whatnot. She's liable to take your head off if you screw up, but then she'll sew it back on for you. You can't really sew heads back together, but... Uh, yeah, where can I find them? Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Zora's sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. So why are you here and not in Stella Bay? Oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I wish I had a pamphlet to give you. It's all in there. I wasn't around back then, but they say a lot of the old MSI corporate folks died here. He calls it a spiritual metaphor. Something about rising from the ashes. That doesn't sound that good, but got it. Hey, uh, before I go, I'm looking for Taka. Uh, have you seen him? The new boy. Yes, he's quite new clever. Boy. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Uh, okay, so he joined you guys? Everybody here looks wore out. Is it just me? They might be worn out. I should meditate today, huh? That means you. Storage capacity increased. Dogs bite are most reason uh, unretrievable. Now sometimes you'll be hiding the Manta Queen and you're trying to be quiet. Uh, when meditated, it mostly something something. I got back. Sora yelled at me because I was a little late. Okay. They saw a game of permission to buy ammunition. Uh, I asked her what a promotion is, and she smiled and really, in a really sad way, and told me I shouldn't worry about it. That was Mass Port Terminal. If you're reading this, suck sulfur. All right.
Hello there, Bronson. Are you a special person or something? Welcome to the Emporium. I'm Bronson. Emporium, huh? I'm Ben Bro. You run a stall out here? It ain't really a store. Think of me more like a quartermaster. And a chef. And a handyman. And whatever else we need. A quartermaster for the iconoclasts? We gotta eat. Eating means hunting. And hunting means armaments. We used to let people take what they will, but then some idiot shot some other idiot over cards. So Zora set up a system. You fuck up, you don't get to buy gear. You play nice, you do. Fair enough. Uh, anything you need help with? Yeah, plenty. If you're the type to fix a thing or two, I've got a couple reports I need to follow up on. All right, I'm back and go help out. Milton's house first. Someone needs to shut him off. Then there are the cables outside the bar. A sprat chewed through them, and now they're spitting lightning. Then there's the old guardhouse outside town on the way to the old Bayside Terrace. Someone needs to reset the comms breaker there. Simple enough. How did you know when they're done? I ought to tell you. Most of these systems are routed through one of our terminals. You might be able to handle some of them remotely if you know your way around a computer. We sent Milton out to check on the comms tower a while ago. He ain't heard back. I'd wager he got eight. I mean, maybe. And where is this terminal? Up the hill. It's right on the cliff's edge. Okay, thanks for the tip, though. Oh, uh, what is this? Request this. Bronson maintains a record of strange spatial equipment requests uh, beyond normal uh, stuff stuff. And it fulfilled. Huh. Okay. Seems like a nice little town. Except for all the dead critters. Damned philosophers. All right, dude. Gonna taste like sulfur all the same. Just uh. Right, a revolutionary. It ain't right. How many good folk we gonna lose to our mission? That's just the way. We gotta earn our keep up. This bastard. seems interesting. The big Zora needs tendons. No, all I'm saying is you gotta be more careful throwing away lives like that. More careful, huh? Excuse me. Any anyone home? Agitator, hello. Huh. Okay, maybe, maybe you don't really have anything to say. But what about people up here then? A man's a queen. Yeah, we felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. Hello. Whoops, I didn't mean to pull out my gun. Home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. Uh, well, what do you teach? The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. We do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. Yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. And the noble, now, in a way. I guess. Why have you come? Uh, you know, I'm just looking for ways to help people here. Anything need doing? A great many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. A printing press on Monarch? Oh, yes. Many facilities lie abandoned in the wilderness. I believe the press could be operational again with a little elbow grease and luck. Sounds to me like a nifty little challenge. Such enthusiasm, yes. I agree wholeheartedly. Our own little fixer-upper. Will you aid us in our cause? I mean, sure, why not? Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. 
Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Wait, where is Huxley? It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. MSI supplies you? One of our sympathizers. A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly. Though the goods now come at a considerable markup. And where is this supplier? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. All right, I'll be back then. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges. Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. All right, can I talk to you first, sir? You seem to be the one who actually takes things seriously. Hey. Greetings, friend. I have some questions for you. All right. Tell me about the iconoclasts. The iconoclasts are free folk. We live under our rules, motivated by our own beliefs. All petals on the same flower of enlightenment. Meanwhile, the board strangles the will of its workers. It is the penultimate exercise of a poisoned society where people are enslaved by a corporate ladder. We seek to replace their way of life with ours. Philosophism is the key to unlocking their shackles. I mean, but it'd be dangerous to let anarchy run rampant. This is not anarchy. Society requires structure, Captain. It is just that the board's structure is killing the colony. Ours will not. All right, I want to know more about your teachings, though. Awakening is available to all whose minds are ready to accept it. What would you like to know? I would like to know what you think Bokonu meant when he wrote, Your work is to discover the truth, and then with all your heart, give yourself to it. Ah, how refreshing to have a scholar among us. Bokonu's text simply refers to our entire purpose, assisting the universe in realizing its own truth. Let it guide us as it will. It refers to giving oneself over to the plan. It is not some peon to an invisible creator in the sky. I mean, I'm gonna let them talk. This is not my place. They're, they're two people. Were there a truth to the grand plan in the first place, I and Bakonu might agree. But what we see as divine purpose is just one facet of the universe figuring itself out. To quote, as a child looking at the leg of an elephant, unable to view it whole, we mistake the tiny scope of our understanding as the unfathomably large purpose of the universe. You're not completely full of shit, I'll give you that. Even if you do twist things beyond recognition to suit your own beliefs. Okay, okay, let's take a step back. Apologies. The occasion to speak to other scholarly men does not come here often. I hear the word eternal turn around a lot. What is it? Ah, the eternal. We are all part of the consciousness of the cosmos. Each of us plays a tiny role in the universe's continual journey toward understanding itself. You and I, and the rats and the mantis swarms. Divinity is in us all. And the eternal is that divinity. Even OSI, are their members similarly divine? Everyone, regardless of ability to believe, is another facet of the universe contemplating its own existence. Ability to believe? I think you mean inability to tell fantasy from truth, which rules out any knowledgeable scientician. Become Max, Let please just be respect their own stuff. Come on, dude. Neither claim to being knowledgeable on this topic. It is a matter of belief. It is not as if OSI has gone and proven anything. Regardless, what were you saying? What do you mean by awakening? 
the point of no return, when your mind fully opens to the eternal truth, every philosophist experiences it along the path to enlightenment. For many, it is the first brush with the cold of death when they realize that all of their lives have boiled down into the single truth of that moment. Mine was witnessing my friend and colleague transform into the very evil we sought to combat. Now he runs MSI, just like the overlords before him. Wait, he was your friend? Wait, what? So Santya betrayed you and you turned to religion and now here we are? I suppose that's one way to look at it. Another is that misfortune often brings opportunity. I found my path through the tragedies of my past. You believe in a creator then? Not in the sense of a single entity. Fashioning the universe as a whittler fashions a flute. The universe came into being over time, organically, naturally, and without purpose. In that sense, I suppose you could say that, in the interest of finding its purpose, the universe itself created all living things. The universe doesn't need to find its purpose. It is a mathematically perfect equation that gives mankind purpose. That we'd consider ourselves in any way capable of understanding the universe, much less an equation that drives it, is nothing but hubris. And that is sort of true. All right. Well, we do kind of know that at some point the universe is going to destroy itself, so I mean, there's that. I've heard people mention an Amber Heights massacre. What happened? I'm sorry. As long as it's been, I'd still rather not speak of it. That was a painful day for us all. I can only imagine. Sorry I asked. It's fine. Perhaps someday I'll be strong enough to recall that tragedy, but... Today is not that day. I think that is the only serious word he has said so far. Never mind. Why have you come? No, no, what? You don't need to know. I'm here simply because I choose to. Is this it? Access files on Halcyon Colony, the board lies. The lies become more and more transparent as years pass, the operation must end. No, the workers minds are poisoned, they will be shackled, their dreams hamstrung. This can't stand any longer, we must have this entire regime down. The dangers of corporate society, oh my goodness, yes, that is a lot of stuff. I often call my former friend who once sought to dismantle corporations I still do when he took ownership of the corporation held in such a contempt. I called him a coward and a betrayer, he was becoming the very thing we hated. Now I'm not sure recently I've come to accept that his heart was more close than mine. I cannot expect every man to be able to open himself to the eternal truth as I have. And so it is a tragic thing, tragic that he's weaker than I'd hoped. Like the board, his stubbornness will only blind him to an inevitable fall. Tragic. God damn it. More and more often I feel her attachment to the materialism and our suppressors sways her decisions. She often tells me that our people are hungry, I agree. A much more powerful power than any Oh my god. He he is so blind. The universe. Depression of truth. Uh, sure, dude. I see your points, but you know, I prefer the realism approach. What? Sorry. Long day. So who's in here? Well, dang, there's a lot of people hurt. Are these people sleeping? Are they hurt? I actually don't know. Sorry about earlier. Graham and I don't always see eye to eye. Besides, we just got our asses kicked in the ruins. Not a great time to yammer on about his printing press. So you run the Trias Clinic here? Yeah. Name's Zora. I've been patching up the Iconoclast since day one. Whenever Graham's lack of foresight gets someone hurt, I get them back on their feet. If I can. So you saw bones? I was a long time ago, over in Cascadia. Rizzo was trying to sweeten up animal parts, and often that mental lab coat got bit. Now I'm whatever I need to be to keep these folks from bleeding out. 
Doesn't seem wasteful to buy best parts rather than food. Hey, you got some decency in you. Careful. That's rare around these parts, and folks are liable to try and take advantage of it. Do you always talk to your leader like that? When he's being an idiot, sure. And what happened in the ruins? The Manta Queen showed up out of nowhere. And I guess the gunfire attracted Raptodons. It was a damn bloodbath. Listen, unless this is urgent, I need to oversee the wounded. I can help. Yeah, yeah, need any help? You want to do us a favor or two? Go talk to Bronson. He's always looking to pass his work off on someone else. For now, I gotta get to the wounded. Welcome to Amber Heights. Well, no problem. Thank you, I guess. Revolutionary. Alright, you, you guys need help with stuff. Where's the guy I'm looking for? Has to be all the way to the left somewhere. Is he over here? Uh, none of you people, huh? What about here? Tucker need him. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? It's Captain Ben Bro. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Thank Tuck. you. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? Talk about your Agnes little boy from Stella Bay? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades. No matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me. I'd hope she'd accept my decision. To me, it seemed like you were in danger. Ask me to rescue you. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life, she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. Ugh. You fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Yeah, running away is for cowards. You need to face her and show her you've grown up. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? You're grown up, dude. You survived outside the Stella Bay for weeks. Show her the skills you've learned. <laughs> Join her into freedom. No. Yeah, show her the skills you've learned. <sighs> You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. Yeah, indeed, indeed. If you work orders, steam coming out of the roof. Uh, remotely reroute the border. Okay, easy PC. Got that one down. Haven't heard from the wrapped house. Hack remotely reset the wrapped house's communications breaker. Done. <laughs> Arcing electricity at the bar. You know, remotely shut off the power going through the bar's side panels. Their diary. Erase, erase, hack, erase, work, what? Medical examiner's residence door sealed. In case... Emergency seals lifted, okay, did it. What now? Right, dude, I think I actually did everything you want me to do. So, the, the, the emergency... You mean that stuff up there? No, that's not it. Ash, hello. Never seen you before. Also never seen you before, and I just got over here. You know, I'm new here. Take my advice. Move on. Get off world if you can. If you can't, get to the bay. I've been halfway around T1. <laughs> Monarch, they call it now. Been around it twice. Stood at the hot pole and the cold. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. 
So what's your story, dude? Pretty simple, kid. I sit at the bar, I drink, I mind my own business. That's it. Can I get this guy as a companion? You said you've been around the whole moon. You must know a few things no one else does. The only thing I got to teach is get the fuck off T1. Or whatever they're calling it this week. Anybody with half a brain could tell you that. Look, you want to buy the drinks? I'll do my bit to keep you entertained. Just don't ask me to dance. Ah, uh, okay. All right, all right. Heartbreak, what happened to you here? A great many things. I'll tell you what. You want to listen to an old man ramble? There might be a job in it for you. I used to run with a squad of mercenaries here. Good folk. A fella named Lamont introduced me. Thing is, I ain't seen them in an age. Okay. Stands to reason they got themselves eight. Mercenaries, what they do? Mostly we protect the folk from the beasts here. If it's spat, scratched, or stung, we'd kill it for you. So long as you had the bits. We split ways around the time this twice-fucked moon got abandoned. Thing is, I got myself some fond memories. We had some keepsakes of ours we kept in a lockbox. And I've been thinking about seeing it found. And what if they're still alive? I'll be glad for it, but I ain't stupid. This planet tends to get people killed. I just want some closure. I'm guessing that there's more than just closure, huh? Can't you find them yourself? I'm getting on in years, kid. Eggs ain't working like they used to. Sulfur burns a little too long in the lungs. This joint's looking like my last home. So you want mementos, what photographs, or...? Thereabouts. All right, one lockbox coming right up. Appreciate it, kid. I'm marking out posts on the map. Don't call me map. kid. You spend a lot of time out there. Might be a good place to start. Here's a key for the door. Wait, I think I know that place. I'm pretty sure I've been there. Is it that safe house that you're talking about? Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. I will also have to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, click that like button. If you want to see more from me, search for 8000. Get the subscribe button. And I hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.